is here again to help out with weather as Cedric Haynes continues to recover. Tiffany, just how hot is it today? We got up to 96 degrees in Chattanooga, Xavier, but it felt hotter than that when you factored in the humidity. Many locations still in the 90s at this hour, and it's almost 7 o'clock at night. It's 94 degrees currently in Chattanooga. Look at Scottsboro, 95 degrees. It's 93 in Cleveland, 73 in Murphy. That's rain cooled. And look at Athens, 84 degrees. That's because you saw some rain and thunderstorm activity earlier. This is what it feels like as you step out the door. Maybe you're heading out to get a bite to eat. It feels like 107 in Cleveland, 104 in Dalton. It feels like 102 in Chattanooga and 106 degrees in Dayton. But if you are heading out and you live in some of our northern counties, take the umbrella with you because we are watching a complex of showers and thunderstorms to our north. But we did have a severe thunderstorm warning issued a couple hours ago for northern Megs and northern McMinn County. That thunderstorm has now fizzled, but look up to our north, north of McMinnville. There's actually severe thunderstorm warning for that area in that yellow box just to the south of Lebanon. And as these storms continue to work their way off to the south and east at about 30 miles per hour, they will be impacting our county. So this thunderstorm to the north of Pikeville, that'll actually be moving into Pikeville in about 25 minutes. And we're also tracking that severe thunderstorm east of Murfreesboro that will travel to the south and east and could impact Altamont in about an hour and 14 minutes. And if this complex holds together, as it continues to move to the south and east, it'll likely be in the Chattanooga area in the next two to three hours. We'll have to monitor that carefully, but keep that in mind. If you're going to the Lookouts game, you may want to bring that poncho just in case. So here's complex number one. This is the one moving out of northern Tennessee. You can see the pinkish boxes indicating severe thunderstorm watches to our north and east. There's also a severe thunderstorm watch out towards St. Louis. This is complex number two. If that complex holds together, that's the one that could be moving in overnight. And our computer model actually doing a really good job of showing where the storms are right now. So by seven o'clock, you could see those storms just south and east of McMinnville. That'll be impacting our counties or northern counties just north of the metro by eight, nine o'clock. You could see that storm over the Athens area. Any thunderstorm that moves in will be capable of producing some gusty winds and some very heavy downpours as they quickly move off to the south and east. Chattanooga, if those storms hold together, nine o'clock and then northern Georgia, potentially 10 o'clock this evening. And then we may get a little bit of a break before that secondary complex out towards St. Louis moves in. This particular model weakens that complex big time by 3, 4 a.m., but we could see another complex move in to our westernmost communities and to Alabama by tomorrow morning, 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning. And then we're just going to keep that chance for these hit or miss shower storms in the forecast tomorrow because we're going to be out ahead of a weak cold front all day long. It's still going to be hot tomorrow, don't get me wrong, with that chance for a hit or miss shower and thunderstorm activity, but Behind that front, we're going to get some slightly drier air to work its way in. So your seven day forecast showing that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday won't be quite as humid. It looks like we'll have dry conditions, temperatures around 90 degrees, so closer to average. And then the pattern becoming more settled again by the end of the week and into next weekend. Back to you, Xavier.